Yo, what is up people? How are you guys doing today? We got a new e-bike. This e-bike right here is not your ordinary e-bike because it's kind of like in between an e-bike and an e-motorcycle. So this right here is the C3 Strom Astro Pro. Let's check it out. So as you guys can see, this thing is not your ordinary e-bike. At first glance, it looks just like a motorcycle or an electric motorcycle. But no, this is a class three e-bike. It just happens that they made the frame looks really nice and they put some motorcycle looking components over here. So let's check out the frame real quick. They did some little details here that actually looks really cool. So C3 actually stands for class three. You got those little things right here and you know, it, it looks really cool, I like that. The frame, they kind of feathered the, the welds over here and over here and over here, making it look really nice. The seat, super comfy. Although it's a hard tail, the seat actually absorbs bumps. The wheels, motorcycle wheels. The tires, look at that. The fender, I think the fenders actually kind of, you know, I think they custom made this because You'll never see any fenders like this on the market. This is the, this, this is the first uh, fender that I've seen that is, you know, it's being mounted like this. So I never own a motorcycle. So maybe this is a motorcycle fender too. And I really like it because it's plastic. So when you bump it, it's not gonna fold. It's not gonna bend. I mean, it might crack one day, but look at that. Check out the bike real quick. So there's actually two versions of this e-bike. So this one is the C3 Strom Astro Pro. And there's another one which is called C3 Strom Astro. So it's the non-pro version. The only difference there is this one has a bigger battery. The, the non-pro version, you know, has a smaller battery, but still, you know, the range is still pretty amazing. So we have a 750 watt Bafang motor right here, but don't get fooled by that 750 watt because this thing can actually peak out up to 2000 watts. So there's actually two riding modes over here. Right now it's on class three mode. It can go up to 28 miles an hour, you know, it will peak out up to 1200 watts. But if you unlock it to off-road mode, you can actually peak out up to 2000 watts, which is really cool. The motor can be a little loud, but I mean, that's kind of expected because you're pushing that 750 watt motor up to 32 miles per hour. Let's check out the front end real quick. And as you guys can see, look at that. That is a motorcycle headlight right there. If the bike is on, this beam right here actually illuminates. So it's really cool. Turn signal indicators on each side and the tires is actually 20 by 4.25. So it's fatter than your, you know, normal uh, 26 by four or 24 by four. So yeah, it's a little fatter. That means you got more grip when you're cornering and everything. Matter of fact, cornering on this e-bike is actually really good. Every time I'm riding this, I feel like I'm not riding an e-bike. I feel like I'm riding a moped or a motorcycle. As you guys can see, this e-bike is hardtail. That means we got suspension on the front and nothing on the rear. That doesn't mean you can't ride this off-road. You can still ride this thing off-road, but you just have to be a little careful because it can be a little rowdy. I actually wish they, you know, they put a little bit of suspension right there. That way I can actually do some off-road, off-road stuff. But hey, you know, maybe in the future, because if this is a full suspension, it would be nicer because I can just replace the tires with, you know, off-road tires, then there we go riding off-road but I mean by the way this bike looks I think they want you to use this on the streets you know I mean it looks like a street bike right on the front suspension we got this nice dual crown suspension right here that has some adjustments we got preload adjustments right here I don't think this really works but this compression damper adjustment right here actually works really good so when I was riding off-road I actually made this you know the suspension a little softer if I'm riding on the road I kind of like it you know stiff you know that way I don't have a lot of bobs going Going on while I'm riding and cornering fast you know on turns but yeah let's check out the battery so the battery is actually a 20 amp battery 52 volts and I think it's a 1040 watt hour so it's pretty big you can go up to 70 miles on this bike with this battery so the non-pro version you can go up to 50 miles but that's just the estimated range because that will actually change depending on how you ride the bike how heavy you are is there a lot of hills in your area i'm 150 pounds and i actually getting close to that range so since we're talking about weight the max load capacity of this e-bike is 300 pounds so now let's talk about the brakes so over here we got a 180 millimeter rotor with a quad piston 
caliper right there. The brake is super powerful. Same thing on the rear, 180 millimeter quad piston calipers and the brake lever. Looks like a motorcycle brake lever because they got this, the ball end right here. It's C3 branded on each side. And uh, what I really like about this e-bike, I mean about the brakes is, look at that, they even have a oil level indicator. Is that what it is? Or this is just for aesthetics again. So since we're right here at the front of the bike, let's check out the cockpit. Let's turn on the bike. I haven't even removed this thing because I don't want it to get scratched. So as you guys can see, this looks like a motorcycle display right here motorcycle odometer so we got five level assist so right now i'm on level assist one i mean zero one two three four five i'm always riding on pedal assist five and right here this is pretty interesting at the same time i think it's smart because you know they put this um revo shifter right here you know that means you have to like do this when you're shifting i really like that they put this here because i don't want to see a thumb shifter on a motorcycle looking e-bike. That thing just gonna look weird if you have like a shifter sticking out over here. And they actually flip this thing upside down because this shifter is supposed to be on the right side. On most e-bikes, if there's a thumb shifter, they actually put it right here next to the half twist throttle. And again, I really like the idea that they did not put a thumb shifter in here because that thing is just, it's just gonna look weird. So kudos to them, although this thing is upside down, which is, I mean, it's okay. It's kind of weird, you know, using this for first time because the thing is actually upside down. But I mean, if you think about it, it's actually pretty smart. And again, you don't want no thumb shifters sticking out. You know, it's just gonna look goofy. So right here, we got the on and off button to turn it off, hold the button to turn it on, just press it like that. So we got the M button here. So if you hold this or if you press it, it will activate the, um, you, you guys see that? It will activate the USB charger down here. It's kind of crowded here and I'm pretty sure this is just for, you know, emergency. If you press this again, the M button, it's actually gonna, you know, make you connect to Bluetooth. So it's very simple, plus and minus for pedal assist. And right here we got um, turn signal indicator. It's just, there's no, like, there's no audio indication that you're actually doing a turn because right here, I'm actually trying to turn to the left you can't see it here and sometimes i forget that you know i'm riding around and i'm still on the left i'm still trying to turn left and you know same thing when i'm turning on the right and i keep forgetting let me actually let me show you guys the turn signal indicator where is it at look at that omg that is just so nice turn to the left i mean yeah turn to the left look at that i mean it's just that thing looks awesome matter of fact let's go to the rear and you'll see right here that, look at that. That's how it looks like. It looks very futuristic. <laughs> this is the bike from the future. All right, let's go back to the cockpit and right over here, you got the low, I mean the low and the high beam and we got some, we got a horn. And to turn on the headlight, you just press the, the power button and let's check out the headlight real quick. It's not pretty bright because it's super bright right now, it's sunny. And here we go. Actually put C3 Strom right there, which is really slick. I really like it. So on the rear, we got this rack right here, but this rack is actually a uh, spare battery rack and for your um, side compartments. You can actually buy side compartments for this rack and it's really cool. It's on uh, C3 Strom's website. And I started thinking that maybe, you know, you can hook the battery to the actual bike, but no, I started looking around for, for extra wires and connection and everything. And uh, yeah, I couldn't find anything. So this is just literally for a, you know, for a spare battery. You can mount your battery here. Let's say you want to ride like probably 150 miles on this bike, get you a spare battery mounted here and you're good to go. So let's talk about the frame a little bit more before I forget it. So we got a bunch of mounts over here. So maybe you can put like a, a bottle cage holder over here or right here, maybe you can put your lock. And uh, over here we got a, I think this is like a, a cup holder. So, you know, while you're riding around, feeling cool you know you can take a sip of your drink nice all right so let's talk about the drivetrain real quick so we got this massive chain ring on the front seven gears on the rear shimano altus rear derailleur shimano altus is not the highest end it's not the lowest end neither it's like in the mid low end but i'll be honest with you guys you will barely use the uh, the shift on this bike because i'm pretty sure you're gonna be throttling a lot pedaling this e-bike can be a little awkward because the seat's not adjustable and it's a heavy bike you know it's pretty heavy i think it's 90 pounds but you know since it's super solid 
picking this up is really not hard because it's not a long e-bike and this right here is a you know it's part of the frame and you can pick it up from here you know very easily i have not have any problem picking this e-bike out so yeah again you know one by seven shimano drivetrain with a shimano altus rear derailleur and um i learned my lesson with this thing actually so since the bike is so low because they're trying to achieve that street bike looking thing um every time i turn hard on the corner i actually scrape the pedals so i did that four times and i realized that all right so this bike is pretty low every time i turn i have to like make sure that the pedals are level like that or let's say if i'm turning to the left i kind of like you know make sure that the left pedal is on higher and if i'm turning to the right make sure that the right pedal is up like that actually there's a super cool feature on this bike that i almost forgot to tell you guys so the cadence sensor on this crank set is super sensitive unlike other e-bikes that you have to wait like one to two seconds before the the motor kicks in let's say i'm on pedal assist three as soon as the crank rotates forward the motor will instantly work so on other e-bikes you have to wait like a second or two you know for it to happen but this one is actually pretty amazing and i really like it overall everything on this e-bike feels super solid the ride quality is good the range is awesome the seat's very comfortable actually one of my favorite the motor is pretty powerful the wheels are nice you can corner real good and the looks i mean look at that just look at that. I'm just, I'm still amazed with this e-bike. I've been using this for two weeks now, maybe. The screen is simple, but yet amazing. The cockpit is not too crowded. So yeah, for the price, it is really nice. Okay, let's pause here for a little bit and let's talk about the price of this e-bike because right now I know everybody's wondering how much is it? Because you know, it looks pretty expensive. You're probably expecting big money for this, but no. Right now, the Astro Pro is only $1,999. The non-pro version, it's only $1,799. Again, the difference there is the pro version got a bigger battery, the non-pro version got a smaller battery, but it, it's the exact same thing. So I can easily say that the Astro Pro is probably the e-bike of 2022. Price, performance is up there, and I think they're pushing the limit. I don't even know how they made this happen for that price. I think it's a really good deal. So Super 73, you guys better watch out because I got the big dog over here that might take over. So I will put the link down in the description. That way you guys can check it out. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let's go back to the video. So I'm here in the trails now because, you know, I actually want to show you guys that this e-bike can actually ride off-road, although it looks like a, you know, a street bike. And I almost forgot to tell you guys that this e-bike actually comes with an app. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the glare, but if not, I will just put like a screen recording here. So you can change a lot of things here. Well, not a lot. You can change some things and you can see a lot of information. Right now I'm connected via Bluetooth and uh, I can check my battery info. Right now I got 79% left and it says my battery is good, blah, blah, blah. And over here, I can actually change the riding mode. So right now I'm on class three mode. You know, it goes up to 28 miles an hour, but once I hit the off-road mode, there's a warning here. It says this e-bike will hit a maximum speed of 52 kilometers per hour or 32 miles per hour in off-road mode. Please note that off-road mode must only be used on private property and cannot be used on public roads. So yeah, let's stay on class three. The speedometer is showing, showing that it's actually going faster, but you know, maybe it's because I'm using a 24 inch wheels, but I actually used my GPS app and it's showing 28 miles an hour max instead of 30 or 32. So yeah, actually I'm gonna put up my phone later with my GPS app that way you guys can see. So yeah, let's go, let's ride off road. Okay, here we go, riding on the trails. It's super sandy right now. And this trail right here, it's slippery because you know leaves sand especially right now it's summertime leaves are dried and it's just super slippery so i'm gonna take it easy all right brake check 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Brakes are awesome. All right, so off-road, it's all right, you know? Little bumps, it's okay, but when it gets super sandy, tires are just not able to keep up because, you know, I'm, I'm using road tires right now, so maybe if I put some um, off-road tires on this bike, that might be better. How you doing? Yeah, I have to stop whenever I see cyclists like that because, you know, I mean, I got a motor on my bike, they don't. So, yeah, just we need to give them a little bit of respect, you know? All right, so again, off-road is okay, but when you hit a bigger bump, it, it can be a little, <laughs> can be a little rowdy, but I mean, it can handle. Okay, I got my GPS app right here with me, and uh, let's see how fast we can go. Just full throttle. Twenty-eight miles an hour, but on the screen it's saying thirty-four. Oh, I'm actually hitting thirty. Twenty-nine. I got the tailwind. That's probably why it's going faster than twenty-eight miles an hour. All right. So now let's do pedal assist speed. On pedal assist one, I get ten miles an hour. 11 miles an hour, 12. Pedal assist two. I get, see how far we go here. 18 miles, 19 miles an hour, 20, 23. It's actually getting faster. What's up with that? All right, pedal assist three. How fast do we go on pedal assist three? Come on. 23 miles an hour. Pedal assist four. I can't even keep up on pedaling. All right, what's going on there? Pedal assist four. I don't know why it's not going over 24. Oh, I got my little bike buddy. This bike looks just like his bike. It looks like a Honda Grom. All right, so let's do that again. Pedal assist four goes 24 miles an hour. That's the max I got. Let's do pedal assist five. All right, pedal assist five. What's going on here? Is my GPS bad or what? We won't go over 24. All right, on pedal assist, I can only go 24 miles an hour max. I don't know what's going on. It's too cloudy today. Maybe it's my GPS app or maybe it's the bike. But uh, yeah, let's go full throttle. There's another Popo just past me. And there's another state trooper past me. And uh, I was expecting them to stop me because motorcycle looking thing, riding with a bike helmet with no license plate. Hey, they didn't stop me. Pretty cool. So on pedal assist five, I was only able to go 24 miles an hour max. And at the same time, my cadence is just so fast. So it's probably, it probably makes sense to just, you know, hit the throttle if you're trying to hit that 28 mile an hour max on class three mode of riding. And right now, I'm pretty sure you, that you notice that the motor is actually pretty loud. Maybe because, you know, it's getting pushed to 1200 watts peak. But does it bother me? Eh, not really. Right now, the window is actually louder than the motor. I can't even hear myself. That's why I'm probably screaming on this video. But, uh, but let me tell you, the ride quality of this e-bike is awesome. Like, I can turn sharp on this bike without problems, you know? And I just need to pick up that other pedal when I am turning sharp corners like that. And, you know, again, this thing right here, when I'm turning, when I'm using the uh, turn signal indicator, sometimes I forget. So I'm kind of getting used to it now. So yeah, I guess it's just the more you use it, the more you get better at it. And when I'm cornering, I, I don't hit my, uh, my pedals no more, you know? So it's just, the more I use it, the more I get better. And when I stand on it, it feels all right. It's a little awkward, but this bike is, you know, it's, you want to sit down on this thing when you're riding, especially when you're 
when you're doing 28 miles an hour. This is still a bicycle, you know, although it looks like, oh my geez, the wind is so loud. Hopefully my microphone is not picking that up. So anyway, I forgot what I was saying. I should head home now, you know, and um, finish this video. Let's go. Back in the house and that was definitely a super fun ride. Probably the best e-bike experience that I ever had so far in my life. So the bike handles pretty good. It's pretty comfortable. The 750 watt motor is actually pretty powerful. Imagine you can go up to 32 miles an hour on off-road mode and 28 miles an hour max on class three mode. I really like the way this bike looks, you know, it, again, it looks like a motorcycle. The headlight, the turn signal indicator, the, the tires, you know, the frame design. I'll be honest with you guys, I really like it. It's just, it performs really good. It looks really nice. The battery is long lasting and uh, what can I say? Let me know. What do you guys think? Big thanks to C3Strong for providing this channel. The Astro Pro is just a really nice bike. If you guys want to check it out, I will put the link down in the description. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep pedaling, ride safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.